I'm Jeff Screaming with Site Design Concepts, and today we'll be doing infiltration testing. We're doing infiltration testing to determine how fast the water infiltrates into the ground. The results of the infiltration test will determine the size of the infiltration basins that we need to create. So I've set two pipes. The outer ring will spread water outwards while the center ring will push the water straight down and give us a true infiltration rate. As we can see here, the center ring is infiltrating very well while the outside ring is not doing so well. So it's good to see that the inside ring is infiltrating very well and the outside ring is still holding water. So you can see the difference between infiltrating straight down and spreading outwards. Hi, I'm Adam Anderson with Site Design Concepts. We complete infiltration testing to determine where it is most feasible on the site to do infiltration uh, and stormwater management for volume controls. We use the results of the infiltration testing to design the volume control facilities um, for the size, the depth, and then also the dewatering time, uh, which required by the state and in most municipalities is 72 hours. So what we're looking for when we do the infiltration testing is the depth to high water, the depth to bedrock, or the depth to, um, I guess, the historic high water where there'd be soil models. And then we'd have to maintain 24 inches between the top of the landing zone and the invert of our infiltration facility to ensure that there's adequate depth for the infiltration for the water to pass through the soil and to meet uh, PADEP requirements for volume controls. So now that we have our infiltration rate, we can go back to the office and design our system to meet DEP and municipalities requirements.